So recently I picked up the um, GEC 13 uh, whip in Coca Bola wood. Um, and then since then, the 13 pattern has been not highly sought after. So I was actually able to get another 13. This one's a clerk, meaning it has two blades. Uh, and this one's the antique yellow Springfield bone. And this is an S knife. I got this from Collector Knives. Um, I'm not sure what the problem with it is, because typically S knives are, they have cosmetic uh, issues or something like that. Uh, and I can't find anything on this knife apart from there is, man, I hate Northfield Knives videos of them anyway, um, because they're so shiny. Um, but there's a gap here between the cover and the bolster. A very small one, but there's a gap. You guys can probably see that there. You can definitely, you can see pretty well right there. Um, there is a gap there. So that is, you know, that is a cosmetic defect. And then on this side, we got the same problem. This one's slightly bigger, I think. You can really see through it there. Have to excuse my left thumb. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> just started falling apart for no reason. Um, but those are the only defects that I could find on this knife. Um, and I will take the $20, $20, $30, whatever I saved uh, getting the S version uh, because I'm going to probably throw this knife in my pocket uh, pretty much right after I'm done with this video. Um, so I don't really care. Uh, it's going to be a user. Most of my knives are users. Um, but like I mentioned, this is a clerk, which means it's not like the whip. It has two blades. You've got the same, um, main Warncliffe blade here, and then you get a little secondary pen blade, um, which is always nice having two blades, um, that way, you know, if your main blade is dull, you have a backup. Um, this knife didn't have any blade play or anything, which is nice. My whip did have a slight amount of blade play. This knife doesn't have any. Um, and this one, since it's a two blade, is a little bit thicker, which is nice. You get a really good hold on it. Feels good in hand. Um, kind of wish I had gotten one of these first and not the whip. Um, but of course, I will hold on to the whip and everything at this point because uh, I'd like to see how the Coca Bola wood uh, ages and everything. Uh, but this is a like Congress pattern. You look at it here; it's a uh, little under three and three quarter inches long, closed. Uh, your main blade is probably about two and a half. It's almost three, actually. The cutting edge is probably about two and a half. A little over two and a half cutting edge. Um, of course, like I mentioned before, this is a Northfield, which means it's the higher premium um, knife. So they're a little more expensive. They use a little bit better materials with the handles and stuff. Um, and they have a high polish, which I don't like because taking videos of the high polished blades and stuff is a real pain in the butt. Um, that being said, I keep buying Northfield knives because they do look good. They're just a pain in the ass to film. Pain in the butt to film, excuse me. Um, you got this cool shield here, this uh, bomb shield, rocket shield, um, some sort of vegetable maybe, it's a pineapple. That's what it is. This is the pineapple shield. You can see there the bottom of it, and up here is the head of the pineapple. This is the pineapple shield. I've decided it. Uh, Phil Howard, contact me. Uh, we're going to put a trademark on the pineapple shield. Um, I think this is the bomb shield, I think is what they call this. Um, cool looking shield. You know, some space on there if you wanted to, you know, put your initials or something on it if you really wanted to. Uh, brass pins, brass liners, nickel silver bolsters, uh, nickel silver shield, you know, typical stuff. Um, of course, this is carbon steel since it is a Northfield. I can see there GEC, Great Eastern Cutlery Carbon. Um, and here's the tank stamp for the Northfield, Northfield Unexcelled Titusville PA. And I think the model number. No, the model number is not on that one. Oh, that's interesting. 
So what they did with the model number, I guess, was they started over here in the pen blade, the 13-0, and then 224. The last two digits are always the year it was made. Of course, this was made this year in 2024. Um, and then there, you can see the S stamped on the uh, tang there um, so that they know that it was an S knife, a store knife. I think they're typically referred to as store knives. There is a little bit, there is something on this blade. I'm trying to figure out what it is, but it's like not easily wiping off. So I'm not sure what that is. Uh, that could be part of the cosmetic defect too. I don't know. Uh, and it is rubbing uh, the blade. The blades do rub. Um, it is a single backspring pocket knife. So I kind of expect that a little bit, but that could also be why it's an S. I don't know. I'm not sure why this is an S. My best guess is these gaps between the bolster and the cover material. That's my best guess. Other than that, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, really basic tube. Just Northfield on Excel. Your standard Northfield tube. Um, a lot of words to describe what this knife is. And of course, it is an S knife. Um, the, pro the only... Uh, downside to S knives, if you're somebody like me who carries your knife, if you're a collector, an S knife is going to be worth less, going to be worth less. Uh, but if you're somebody like me who just buys these to throw them in their pocket and carry them and everything, uh, the only downside of an S knife in that case is if something happens to it, I don't think Great Eastern Cutlery will fix it. I know they won't warranty it, but even if like you want to pay them, I'm not sure if they'll fix it. I don't exactly know how that works i just know that they for sure will not warranty the knife um so you're kind of you know taking that into your own hands but i've never had anything uh that needed to be warrantied on a great eastern cutlery knife anyway it seems like their quality control is usually pretty good um but you know just keep in mind if like your bone would crack or something they're not going to fix that for you at least not under the warranty they may charge you to replace it. I'm not sure how that works. I'm not sure if they even want to work on the store knives. Um, so yeah, overall knife looks really cool. I like these bone bone handles. I'm glad I got one of these. Um, they'll probably lighten up a little bit over time just because, you know, a lot of times some dye will come out of the bone and everything. Um, but this is a good looking knife. I like the, um, Reminds me a little bit of like winter bottom bone that they did one like the uh, queen knives and stuff back in the day. Uh, so I like that. Um, I do like a Northfield knife. I just don't like filming it or taking pictures of it, which when you do like what I do, where you do videos on pocket knives and post a lot on Instagram, it is annoying. Um, but Northfield knives look nice. They're just a pain in the butt to take pictures of and film. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this video on this uh, Great Eastern Cutlery 13 Clerk. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I don't really understand why it's an S other than those small gaps between the cover and the bolsters, which is what I'm assuming it is. Um, but if you guys noticed anything else, let me know, obviously. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a good day.